So for this project, I had actually started with a bunch of oval frames that I picked up at a garage sale. I removed the glass, I cleaned up the frame, and then I painted the frames. This one I painted with DIY chalk paint, the color Cow Girl Coral. And after that was dry, I used Big Top After Show. It's a sealer used for chalk paint, also a DIY project. After that, I cleaned up the glass, flipped the frames over, and took Elmer's glue and put it around the perimeter of the back of the frame where the glass sits. Then I replaced the glass and took Elmer's glue again and put it around the perimeter one more time. Now the Elmer, Elmer's glue serves two purposes. It helps to hold the glass in place and also to prevent any resin leaks when you put resin on the other side. This needs to dry overnight and sometimes up to 24 hours depending on how much glue you use. Next, I had picked up this glass egg from a garage sale. I don't know if it was just a decoration or a vase. It did have a hole in the very center and I was trying to figure out how to break it without doing too much damage to it, but I ended up having to use a hammer to break it. And then I just took my nipper tool and went around it like I did with the roses in the previous videos to make petals. I did take this glass and throw it in, after I had finished nipping it, getting all the petals that I wanted. I did end up taking this glass along with some other glass and throwing it into my tumbler and tumbling it overnight just to get the sharp edges off so that it was easier to work with and I didn't cut myself. Next, I started setting up the project on the glass. I got out some vitrograph glass, which is long strings of glass that I bought on Etsy. And I just started setting up the petals. And I have this sped way up, so it looks like I'm doing it real quick. But honestly, I spent at least a half an hour putting all these uh, different pieces of glass and petals on and just messing around with it. And the glass that I have at the very bottom of it, the little uh, green pieces of glass, is actually glass that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. For $1.25, you get 8.5 ounces of it. They do not carry it all the time, but every time I go in there, I look for it. Next, I dump out my green glass to try to make up some leaves for the flowers. And I do mess around with this for about 10 minutes. I do have this going very fast. And it looks like I only take seconds to make the decisions on the leaves, but really it does take quite a while. And then I dump out my glass crumbs to find some teeny tiny leaves for the little flower that's at the very bottom of the uh, frame there. So next I'm ready for the resin, and the resin I use for this project is Art Resin. Art Resin is a one-to-one -one ratio resin, one part resin to one part hardener. When I use resin, I use a respirator, I use gloves, supposed to do it in a well-ventilated area. When you pour the resin into the cup, it's one part resin to one part hardener, equal amounts. When you first put it in the cup, it's clear. As you start to stir it, it becomes cloudy. You're supposed to stir it for about three minutes. The slower you stir it, the less bubbles you'll get. You're supposed to scrape the sides and the bottom as you're stirring to assure thorough mixing. You'll notice that it starts to turn clear again about the time three minutes is up. About the time I finished mixing it, I decided I didn't like the way it looked. <laughs> I decided that that one flower that's toward the bottom is just too big for being such a low flower that I needed to rearrange the flowers and maybe add another flower in another spot. So I started nipping some of the glass and making uh, some smaller pieces and I decided to put uh, this other flower here. I put the vitrograph glass going that way so that um, I could add another flower. And I took the larger pieces from the bottom and moved them up and then made some smaller pieces to put on that lower flower there. And I took that little butt off that I had originally had on there. So after I had everything um, rearranged, <laughs> then I was ready to put the resin on. But I tell you, it's really important to, you know, when you use, you try to use your finger to move the stuff around and you end up knocking another piece of glass out of the way. So if you can use like a little toothpick or 
something small like that to push the glass around with it's the best, especially once you get um, the resin on there. It's in your best interest. So I was finally satisfied with the way it looked and then I started putting the resin on it. And I usually start spooning the resin over the glass first. That help, kind of helps to hold it in place. And once I get the resin on over the glass, and I do like to put it over the glass because I like the glass to be shiny. Um, some people don't like that, especially with tumbled glass or sea glass. They like it to, you know, the frosted look. But this is, this is a little bit different. Um, Anyway, after I put it over the glass, I start putting it around the edges and this resin, even though they say it's self-leveling, it really isn't. You have to push it up into the corners along the sides. You have to look at it not only from the top, but get down eye level with it and see what spots aren't covered. And I really took my time with this. Um, making sure everything was totally covered and I think the amount I mixed up this time was the perfect amount which is unusual I usually make way too much I used the kitchen torch several times during this process to get rid of the bubbles and there were quite a few of them and once you're done with your project you need to uh, make sure it dries at temperatures between 72 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit on a flat level surface and it's in your best interest to put a dust cover over it to prevent anything from getting into it as it's setting up hey everyone <laughs> so I just love this color and I knew that this glass that had the orange in it would go perfect with that and after the camera shut off when I was doing the resin, I did add some more leaves because I thought this just looked kind of strange with just the long stems and no leaves down here, only leaves up there. So I did add some and that kind of filled that area in a little. In this Dollar Tree glass, you know, I want to say rarely they have it, but whenever I go in the Dollar Tree, I always go back to that section where they have the vase filler stuff and garden stuff and they have the little uh, round gems and stones and every once in a while they'll have the glass and you know I think they had several more of them and I just got one of each color I should have bought them up but whatever so anyway um, I, I like the way that it turned out I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video and I just wanted to show you a couple things I found this weekend at garage sales. I'm thinking about after each video showing you what I found that week at garage sales because this time I really found some cool stuff. So this here was a vase I picked up. This is like two foot tall. It's really cool and the color is all the way through it. It's not just painted on. It is white in the inside kind of. I gotta wash that out but look at the colors isn't that pretty especially I like this top orange but um they wanted five dollars i offered them three and they took it it was it was kind of cute because there was a, a father and a daughter and the little girl was like four or something and i said would you take three for the vase and the, the little girl pipes up she goes sure <laughs> but anyway it was a good deal and then this thing here I don't know what it was used for, but uh, I offered them a dollar for it and they took it. <laughs> and what it is, is it's six ashtrays glued together to make some kind of, it's open here like a planter or something. I'm not sure what they used it for, but look at this beautiful amber glass. I mean, this would be great for, and it's real heavy, thick glass. They're old ashtrays. Um, so this will be great for sea glass beautiful color and uh i don't know i don't know what they thought i was going to do with it but um i think it'll be perfect so those were two real neat finds at the garage sale this weekend and as far as glass goes anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up if you want to be notified of future videos subscribe and i hope you have a great day thanks for watching